Ukrainian interceptor drones that hunt Russian reconnaissance UAVs have ended the era of Russian dominance in aerial reconnaissance on the Russian-Ukrainian front, the British publication The Times writes. It is noted that at the beginning of this year, Russian reconnaissance drones Orlan-10, Zala and Supercam constantly hung over Ukrainian positions. Flying at an altitude of up to 5,000 meters, they were inaccessible to Ukrainian weapons on the ground and the electronic warfare systems were ineffective. In conditions where the Ukrainian armed forces did not have reconnaissance drones of this class and did not have effective means of countering Russian drones, Russian drones became a deadly problem for the Ukrainian armed forces. Thanks to such constant monitoring of the entire frontline zone, the Russians were able to identify and destroy Ukrainian military equipment, including very valuable models with impunity. In particular, this is how the Russians were able to destroy two Patriot missile launchers near Pokrovsk, more than 30 kilometers from the front line in March. But in June, Russian reconnaissance drones suddenly lost their advantage. Soldiers of the 38th Marine Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces fighting in the Kherson direction, tired of constant surveillance from Russian drones, found a way to counter them. A modified FPV drone was able to catch up with the Russian Zala drone at an altitude of 1,300 meters and destroy it. This successful experiment was soon repeated. The Marines' invention attracted the attention of the Ukrainian High Command and soon this experiment was extended to the entire front line. Within a few weeks, Russian reconnaissance drones were raining down from the sky under the blows of Ukrainian interceptor drones. In the early days of this summer, when we were first working on how to use FPV at high altitude, the Russians couldn't understand why they were suddenly losing so many drones, recalls Jesus, a 36-year-old Marine. Ukrainian commanders remain tight-lipped about the details of the new method their FPV kamikaze pilot units are using, but their success is clear. Across the front lines, Russian reconnaissance drone losses have quadrupled while the time they spend over Ukrainian positions has been cut dramatically. Now the Russians are looking for ways to counteract Ukrainian interceptor drones. They resort to various tricks, increasing the altitude and speed of reconnaissance flights, switching to night flights, installing rear-view cameras, applying camouflage to drones, and even applying Ukrainian identification marks to their drones. But the Ukrainians also continue to improve their interceptor drones. In particular, they have already learned to detect enemy drones by their heat signature, which makes it possible to hunt enemy drones at night. On the night of October 7, an attack was made on the sea oil terminal in Feodosia, Crimea. As a result of the strike by Ukrainian drones, an explosion and a strong fire occurred in the terminal. The Ukrainian headquarters confirmed the information and took responsibility. It is said that there were no victims during the incident. The so-called authorities confirmed the incident but claimed it was a fire. 
Later, the Telegram channel ASTRA clarified that the oil depot on fire in Feodosia is the joint stock company Marine Oil Terminal, which drones had previously targeted. In March 2024, four drones struck the depot, damaging the main fuel pipeline and causing a fire. Workers were evacuated then, and it took an hour and a half to extinguish the blaze. The terminal in Feodosia is considered the largest terminal in Crimea and plays a major role in supplying fuel to the Russian military. There are only two such terminals on the peninsula, one in Sevastopol. Что-то взрывается.